there is an AI that exists on the internet right now that will draw whatever you want it to draw based on tons of data that it grabs on the internet. And what you're seeing on the screen right now is the prompt Minecraft, but you can draw whatever you want. Now we'll not be disclosing what the website is until after my live stream concludes. I'm currently live on Twitch right now, just in the hopes that I can use the website on stream because there is a queuing system. Now we'll show you a series of images. This one's probably one of the worst ones. It's not a good example, but if you examine it closely, you can see Minecraft images scattered across the entire picture, but still ultimately very unclear. So this AI does a lot better when you give it a more concrete or more specific prompt. For example, this one is Minecraft Steve, situated in the middle of the image. You can see his face, you can see his arms. It's not quite Steve. It's got a beard, I don't really know if that matters. You gotta bear in mind that this AI uses a lot of existing data or images on the internet and tries to make sense of all of them. This is Minecraft Alex. Doesn't look like Alex, but you've got three faces here that look really clear. But one thing you might note here is the colors of this picture are not as blue, they're a lot more faint yellow green, which suits Alex a lot more than Steve because Alex wears lighter clothing. I tried to run Steve again here because the AI uses a seed, it's a random number generator. I don't know what's happening here, but that definitely looks like Steve if you look hard enough. I find this one really funny. This is Minecraft Villager. It should only take a few seconds to notice what's wrong. This is not the villager from Minecraft. This is the villager from Animal Crossing. It seems like he's standing in a village, but this is not a Minecraft village. It has a Minecraft background, cobblestone walls, house, this is not Minecraft. It does it really well though. Here's the prompt, creeper. I didn't add Minecraft in front of it just to see how it would behave. And you can see there are some concepts of creepiness. This is a grassy field with maybe a mine shaft and you can see instances of creepers scattered around this image. The color scheme is perfect because creepers are just green. Here is Minecraft skeleton. Not sure how successful this one is. It seems like it's just putting a bunch of skeletons or bones, which is not representative of Minecraft. It's just a skeleton. I have to admit overall that the AI does successfully transform it into a humanoid structure. It's not just a bunch of bones. It has a face, has arms, it has a body, it has legs in most cases. We can head over to the nether here. This is ghast and it's just the word ghast with some ghosts. That's it. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I did Minecraft ghast. Maybe that's a Minecraft ghast. I love this one. This is Nether Fortress. Does it beautifully. So the Nether is predominantly purple. You have obscure references to a castle. A lot of this is actually so abstract, but you can tell that it's a Nether Fortress. However, this is End City, and this one fails. Either the AI doesn't understand what End City is. It looks like it's just a futuristic city. There's no reference to Minecraft here whatsoever. So I tried to put Minecraft in front of End City, but then this happened. It's just Minecraft, but it's a city. I guess there are just too many city builds in Minecraft that I didn't really get it. Here is Enderman. So you can see there are glimpses of Enderman and Slenderman. Not sure what that is. It could be the Moyang logo sneaking in somewhere. But all around you can see the obsidian pillars in the end. So this one actually looks like the Enderman standing atop of an end island. And this is the Ender Dragon. Does it look like an Ender Dragon? I think so. It's interpreted a lot of fan art of the Ender Dragon, I think. So a couple more abstract ones. This is Bed Wars. For some strange reason, the AI loves to incorporate the word of the prompt in the picture. This is just like a bunch of beds, like real beds, not really Minecraft beds. Although this might be a bad example. This is Minecraft TNT. The words TNT do appear on the Minecraft block TNT, so not a great example. Is that blood spatter? I don't like that. So there you have it. This is the AI that I used. I'll leave it in the description of this video at the conclusion of my live stream on Twitch because I'll be experimenting a ton with this. Hopefully you guys won't overload the queuing system because it takes about 30 minutes for me to try every single one. I'll also be going over the new updates 1.19 that have just been announced. And I think I've just seen an actual face on the left here.